Hi sweethearts! Today's vlog is another abstract expressionist painting using India ink, acrylic ink and alcohol ink. I've been having a bit of trouble figuring out what to talk about this week so I thought I'd give you an update on what I'm working on in my art practice. I have some very very exciting opportunities coming up. I can't say too much about them until they're confirmed but I feel so excited and lucky to be considered for them at all. A few of them are speaking opportunities at a very large prestigious art gallery here in Sydney. I honestly cannot believe how lucky I am to even be considered for that. Another few are panel talk opportunities at conferences here to talk about what an important role art plays in the lives of people with disabilities. This is a really passionate subject for me as I'm an artist with disabilities and it sort of has a two-way pull in my life. On one hand, I struggle daily with my disability, so if you know about spoon theory, my spoons are often way too low to even do art, which is something that I really want to do every day. On the other hand, art plays such a huge role in my sense of self, my passion, my aesthetics, my activism, my purpose in life, my confidence, my social inclusion even, and even how my body and mind feel from minute to minute. If I'm deep in a bad moment and have the spoons to create art, or somehow play with colour, sometimes that act of creation can seriously reduce my symptoms. In my opinion, it's another method of cognitive behavioural therapy, or dialectical behavioural therapy, in that it helps you focus your brain onto one thing, the art in front of you. It's like mindfulness, but with a different outcome one that's tangible and can make you feel like you've accomplished something every time you look at it. There are a few other super exciting opportunities coming up that I really hope come true. They're all to do with advocating for people with disability and also helping me cope better as an artist with disability myself. I won't talk about them yet as I don't want to jinx them, but I feel like just knowing these opportunities exist has given me a new lease on life for this year something to look forward to and a reason to get out of bed in the morning. So back to the painting in progress. This is a part of my Planets of Pain series, a body of work about the experience of living as a person with mental health symptoms. Abstract painting is about spontaneous, automatic or subconscious creation and for me it's very much about the performative act of painting as well. I find that it can calm the mind and body of some of the symptoms that can come with anxiety and depression. The way the paint moves on the substrate as I paint is an important part of this series. I love the way it spreads out into fingers and veins and tree branches and roots and spreads like it's a living growing being. To me this acts as a metaphor for what goes on in the brain and body of a person with lived experience of mental illness. By the way, I don't like the term mental illness because the mind is a part of the body run by physical organs. Mental illness makes it sound like it's all in your mind, which is a common statement people stigmatise with. But there's no such thing as a mind without a body. The mind is the body. When scientists and doctors do brain scans of people with these symptoms, their brains are physically different to brain scans of people without these illnesses. Mental illness is real. And it hurts. But I digress. To me, the colour and line in my work stands for the different symptoms and emotions and pains that come with this illness. Hence the title Planets of Pain. But the work is also about joy. I choose colours that bring me joy and ease my pain. The act of creating these paintings also brings me joy and eases my pain. It transforms what could be something very dark and joyless into something that makes my body feel good, that gives my mind a sense of mattering somehow. Like, if I can just bring a little beauty into the world, then my life won't have been in vain. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this week's video. If you'd like to watch more, click on the video to the right. If you'd like to help me make more videos, click on the left to donate a dollar to my Patreon account. And click on the circle in the middle to subscribe. Bye, sweethearts!